It is a coming of age story, a brutal coming of age story. I, I think it's really about how you rise to a challenge for one choice. Can you affect your own destiny? And I think you can. It was about a month and a half of training. Everything from hand-to-hand -hand combat to fight sequences to choreography. It was a great bonding experience, though. You know, I feel like when you sweat alongside people, you like get to know them really quickly. I think probably Amity. I think I would be a, a, a member of the Dauntless. Personally, I would probably go Dauntless just to probably challenge myself. But realistically, I guess I would probably be area Day because I would. I want to die. I think I would want to live in Eriodite. Because they have all the cool clothes. It would be Dauntless. I think it'd be the only faction I wouldn't be born in. I do a lot of like daredevil -y things when I'm backpacking and hiking with my family. To scale the side of a cliff, those sorts of things. I used to do graffiti in LA, probably rat myself out. I rescue like pits and raw wilders and shepherds, you know, so that, that that's pretty dauntless. <laughs> People will be surprised to know it's not as glamorous as one would think. I know that sounds very hard as I stand in front of a really cool set, and it is super fun, but there are a lot of early starts, late finishes. It's not just sitting around eating ice cream having a great time. It's, it's, it's work. The set is unbelievable. I can't believe we're in the middle of Chicago. It's amazing. The pit was outstanding. It's one of those things that they built in real life, and it's not really CGI'd. It's all pre-existing. Teenage girls get compliments out of seeing this film. A great story, great actors, um, you know, Thea James looking really hot, Jai Courtney's muscly arms, and Shay and Zoe's amazing acting, and they have a really exciting action packed film, ready and waiting for them. I think Tris is a really inspiring character because she's very empowered by her own virtues and her own values. And what she discovers that she can be selfless and she can be brave at the same time. And when she discovers self-love and self-respect, then things start flowing easier for her. And I think that that's a big issue right now with a lot of women when they're younger and they're constantly comparing themselves to others. And as soon as they can find their, their core and find out and figure out who they are, then I think life is, is much simpler and, and happier. So I hope they get that from this.